Hello my fellow Fiery Food fans. I hope you're all staying home, staying safe, doing well, much like I am. But for today's video, or at least the little video that's going to follow afterwards for my uh, lockdown segment, I have a little bit of an issue. Because the old footage that I'm about to show you is for a challenge. And I was going to do another challenge to go with it, but unfortunately there was a slight mix-up in the post. I was supposed to get a free bar of Grim Reaper Foods' new Chocolate by Death. His answer to basically the fact that Amazon reviews have been saying, now complaining that his chocolate is too nice, too edible, and not nearly lethal enough. But unfortunately there was a slight mix-up, as I said, where rather than including that as my freebie, I, I got his marmalade, a gin-based one, and yellow habanero, I believe, which, very, very tasty, but not nearly the challenge item I was going to review here. So you'll see that as a written review quite soon, and in the meantime, I'm not totally sure what I'll do for this one. But, I'll find something. And just know that the old footage you're about to see is quite old. In the time since then, they've changed their packaging. And, well, it's no longer cardboard based, it's no longer resealable. But, it is now foil instead to hopefully keep things a little bit fresher. Anyway, here you go. The world's hottest corn chips, and I'll see you after. Is this in any way against the Geneva Convention because it looks like it's against the Geneva Convention? Possibly. Hi, I'm Corin Spice Freak Sauce, and this is my buddy Ink. And today we're going to be eating the world's hottest corn chips, as they call themselves, from the Chili Seed Bank in Australia, imported by Aussie Hot Sauces. And, from what I've been told, it takes about two of these to reach the heat of the one chip challenge. Which makes it sound like these aren't the hottest, but bear in mind that the chips in here are regular size, not the double size ones in the one chip challenge. So they're about the same heat-wise, we suspect. Oh, okay. so, That's a lot of warnings. Yeah, do not consume if on an empty stomach. So, have you eaten anything today? Yes, I have. Good. If you're allergic to chilli, capsaicin, or have an adverse reaction to chili? If you are sensitive to spicy foods? Why would I be here? If you have a cardiac condition? No. If you have gastrointestinal problems? No. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding? If you have any other serious medical conditions? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's a very broad warning. That doesn't really tell you anything. No. I mean, we know Sheeta has epilepsy, but it's not photosensitive epilepsy, so none of the video games we have or will play with him are going to be a problem. But at the same time, who knows? That might be something that it's warning against, it might not. That really could be clearer. Yeah, it could. Like, you've got a broken leg, don't have these. Also, dangerous product, keep out of reach of children. I'll so, just give it to more children. Warning extreme heat, delicious chili infused corn chips, are you game? So, what chilies are actually in here? Ingredients, whole grain Australian corn, vegetable oil, Carolina Reaper chili, scorpion chili, Buchalokia chili, which is ghost pepper, citric acid, sugar, paprika, dehydrated vegetables, which are tomato, garlic and onion, and salt. Made from local and imported ingredients. No artificial ingredients, no artificial flavours. How do you have artificial flavours without artificial ingredients? I don't know. That's no preservatives? Point, actually. No one's that, thought that before. Makes one of them kind of a moot point. Yeah, no preservatives, it's kind of no artificial preservatives, because technically salt's a preservative, but you know. True. Non-GMO verified, so they've not been genetically engineering their chilies, they've just been breeding Selectively them. breeding yeah. them for generations upon generations. Exactly. 100% vegan friendly, 100% gluten free, which is what matters to you. Mm. Why are you mm, at me? I don't actually think I'm gluten intolerant. Okay. It's curious. You always were before. Oh well. <laughs> You're still going to try these either way. 
it's kind of an impressive balls up, if you have to admit. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it says in the back, our dream at Chili Seed Bank was to create super hot snacks that will test even the most diehard chili fanatics. So that's us. Be warned, this could hurt. Now, I know from other people who've tried this, not to inhale while you are chewing them, Ooh. because you will inhale the powder, it will get in your lungs, it is not fun at all. Oh gee. So I have to hold my breath while eating. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Oh, this and is fun. we both have milk at the ready, if you will bring yours into the shops, good sir. Yeah. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh well, I'll clean that up later. Right, and we also have our sparkly new vomit bucket, in case these really are as stupid hot as they say. Because they could well be. We could well end up suffering a lot. Yeah, smart so, is going to be fun, by the way. Resealable Ziploc bag, in case you don't want to eat an entire bag of the world's hottest corn chips at once. I just want, I want to see the aftermath to that. I just want to see the state of that person afterwards. Well, if you want, we can have a bag each. No! I did get two. Why? Right, let's crack this open. But how about you that. don't... Jesus. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't smell like red chili, that just smells like chili. That just smells like, that just smells black. <laughs> Racist. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah, three, two, one. That chili has been seriously roasted. Mm -hmm. It is a stinging heat in the back of the throat. <laughs> Oh wow, that and it's growing and growing. Yeah, it, you, it doesn't seem that bad at first. Yeah. Then it starts growing. Oh boy, oh that, that stings. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, ow, that's painful. I'm going to go through the first one as far as I can before the milk, just to see how hot it gets. Ooh, okay. Ooh that hurts. Ow. But, yeah. Mmm. It has a very <laughs> crispy tortilla chip, and it's very potent chili one. <gasps> and as you can see, Ooh. I'm hiccuping. Ooh, ouch. That's getting to me. Mm. This might be a thing to give Shani. So I think that's about as good as it's getting. Mm. Mm. That's not 10 out of 10 sauce hot. But it's also not... Mm. We've not had a vast launch. We've had one tortilla chip each. No. <sighs> Masochistic. <laughs> you want another? Mm. I'm just working this one off. Ow. It, it keeps... It goes and comes, it goes and comes, and ooh! Mm. Like, it genuinely feels like someone's, like, got, like, a vice on my tongue right now. Like, with loads of tiny little needles on it. Mm. My tongue's glowing a little, but it's most of my throat that's hot. <laughs> For me, it's the tongue. <coughs> they don't even really taste of anything, they just... No, I mean, there's a little bit of roasted chili taste. But most of this hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, engineered for suffering and nothing else. Yeah. You don't eat these to enjoy them. Nope. <coughs> now that is partially hay fever, but partially just the heat sort of going off wouldn't aggravate my nose a bit. Yeah. 
I'm mean, gonna give that like an 8.5, but it's also a whole tortilla chip of 8.5. It's not like you just dumped a bit of 8.5 sauce on a tortilla chip. Whew. That is strong. It's kind of a bitter aftertaste too. The taste just went completely past me. Fair enough. They're not the best. Yeah. They're fine, but they're just heat really. Yeah. If you want to suffer, check out Aussie Hot Sauce. Is They import these. And they do some very nice Australian sauces. <coughs> that aren't going to completely murder you like these two. <laughs> We appear to have lost the recording. What? We'll just use the cameras recording for the rest of this sound because yeah, the your thing turned off. mic's turned off. Weird. Well done. It's all your fault. I'm evil, Rob. You're good. You're having one of these. You break me off a corner, I'll have some. I'm not putting my hands on one of those. <laughs> Come on, camera, we'll do it. Yeah. Cheetah, get lost. Okay, mother. Also, we're out of milk, Rob. What? No milk for you. <laughs> <laughs> You have to do this now. Oh boy. Should I, I really feel really like <laughs> I should get some milk. So, Show the camera how you got. Yeah, it's a tiny piece. Yeah, it probably won't be that. It depends on whether it's enough to get it going. It's hitting my tongue now. Oh, it's that's when it gets the worst. Yeah. You see, the thing about... Like, you want me to grab me some milk? Is it in like the kit? <laughs> I'm fine. It's just a little bit, please. Right, you ready to eat that, Bob? Like, the thing is, he said, Oh, this is quite a painful heat. And you were like, Yeah, well, just jamming more of them into there. <laughs> The one on the left, not the one on the right. Okay, yeah, but so. Got it. Right now it's like medium unpleasant. I'm yeah. assuming that It'll there will be like a building to genuinely unpleasant. Oh, I got, I'm so snotty right now. Unpleasant. Oh, yeah. Unpleasant. Please clear your sinuses. Still unpleasant. Yeah, you really clear your sinuses. It'll make, make your hay fever slightly less unbearable. Well, it made my hay fever a lot more unbearable in the short term, but yeah, my eyes aren't itching anymore. I haven't had hay fever for years, and for that I'm both, thank you, glad and I feel like I'm suffering survivor's guilt. Just for referencing, Karen ate like six of these. <coughs> I ate, I ate like a dozen. of one, and it's made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is cold milk. This is way better. Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, thank you, good sir. <laughs> There's a novelty to it though. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the only reason you buy these. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, if I was going to give a flavour rating to them, which I don't tend to do things, I would say they're like a five. I'd say it's like a four, because like the kind, they're basically kind of like just plain tortilla chips with a little bit of flavour to mm. them. I didn't see I'd say they could use a little more salt, but... Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely need some more seasoning, yeah. Other than that, you know, they're not bad. They're, they're not good. good. They're just plain. And then they kill you? Yeah. Wouldn't eat a whole one. Don't be a coward. <laughs> there you go. I've done with my size, that's alright. Yeah. A lot of people are paying good money to figure out how to do that. <laughs> oh, Jalon. She didn't know. So yeah, I don't want to reseal these now, because I've had enough. The, the power must be contained, sealed away for generations. Ancient evil. Sealed in the moon. You think we could get NASA to fire these off? <laughs> Is it Atari who made that one video game that they dumped in the desert? <laughs> yes, yes. The ET landfill. I cannot work out how to reseal these. I'm impressed as to how long that's lasted, you know. This cardboard zip is just not working. They made a zip out of cardboard? Yeah, they made a cardboard resealable zip. Which doesn't work. Like the zips? I thought what? No, I think the zip's actually made of plastic, okay. but, well, the pull on it, though, is made of the cardboard and the foil, yeah. and it appears to have all great. come off on one side. They don't. It doesn't appear to have sealed to the other side of the packaging. Well, that's an issue. So this just doesn't work. Well, that means we'll have to finish them, surely. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold down his arms and legs, you just paw them down his throat. This was too much as it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had like less than half a chip. I had about a third of a chip. He's had a third of a chip. Cheetah Inc. over there had a whole one. I don't want to ever again. I had about a dozen of them. <laughs> because you're a maniac. Yeah. Yeah, and once that caught up with me, I was really paying for that mistake. Yes. Like, if I had about half, I would probably start crying. If I had 12, I'd probably just die. <laughs> yeah, These no. aren't nearly as hot as the death box in our previous session. It would be a pretty metal funeral. But, <laughs> just imagine, if you got all that chili in your gut and then they cremate you, as you went up in flames, 
Your entire family would be crying, but not because they like you. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually, yeah, tear gas at a funeral. <laughs> yeah. That is a really good way to make it, you know, make it so everyone thinks people liked you. Yeah, you can pay people to do it, or you can just <laughs> swallow a canister of tear gas. Tear gas, yeah. yeah there you go. I mean, it'll they kill you, it'll be ready you for the funeral. Yeah. And then there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. How do we go so far off topic? This is topic. Well, it's a topic. I was thinking of off topic and topics. I was going, I meant to talk about, but then completely forgot to mention, because I was too busy dying. Good. How I ended up in church the other day. Well, I went to church the other day because, you know, I attended church. Yeah, you're a religious, well, you're a religious family at the very least. Yeah, uh, like Christian. Okay. Whereas I'm atheist, I recently took up playing competitive Smash Bros again. Nice. And I play as Pichu, not because I'm a filthy tier list whore, but because <laughs> when they announced that Pichu was coming back, I'm like, oh my god, Pichu is the best clone character? Because Pichu brings a whole new life to the Pikachu moveset with his self-harming mechanic. You've actually got to think about where it is and isn't worth using your moves. And then it turns out people just use the moves anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it's really nice that he at least has that potential for that dynamic going on. When he came back and turned out to be top tier, I was laughing my head Because <laughs> people is, thought, you know, so is, many people online went, no, Pichu will never be good. There is no way self-harming could ever be a good mechanic. That is one like, of the most... Oh, people yeah. have never played card games if they think that's true. I know, right? <laughs> and, yeah. So I took up Pichu, and I've been mating Pichu the whole way through. And my name is Corrin. When I took up playing Corinne, I put my own name tag on male it. Male so or people... female, Corrin? Oh, I play male. I know Despicable. people prefer female. I don't play Smash Bros for the waifus. I'm not even talking about the waifus. You just don't play male Corrin. I play the default. That's all it comes down to. Anyway, I put my own name tag on the character because I thought, you know what? People are just going to mistake me for having the same name as the character. I want to make the difference clear. That people are like... Oh, that's a fun joke name for the character. Like, no! <laughs> it's a fun real name! <laughs> you assume that you've spelled it wrong? Correct! Yeah. Like competitive Grand smash. And you can't yeah. even spell the name for the character. <laughs> I know, right? Slowly drooling around. And so from there, I'm like, okay, people think they have joke names. So let's go Lizardon, the Japanese name for Charizard. And then when I play Kirby, because I specifically play Yellow Kirby, it's my favourite one, go with the official name of Yellow Kirby, which is Kibi. Kibi! Because the yellow yellow is Kiro. Okay, I'm sorry, where, how, did, how does this lead to you ending up in church? <laughs> so, when I took up Pichu, I named myself Gorochu after the unreleased evolution of Raichu, which is dragon type and one of the most OP Pokemon to ever not quite make it through testing. That sounds pretty, that sounds pretty mal. Yeah. Th literal pretty. thunder dragon. This is, you know, imagine Raichu, but bigger bulkier, and red, a dragon. redder, a dragon type, and with horns. He's Thunder Dragon Devil Raichu, oh. and he never quite made it into the game, because he was too powerful for Pokemon Red and Blue. <laughs> but his data still exists, including colour data, because through some quite convoluted means, you can get colour to show up in the game, so you can see exactly what his sprite was meant to look like. But he never made it past the demo version. Church. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, I went to this Smash Bros tournament for the second time in as many weeks, and turned up slightly early, was sitting around, waiting for the rest of the players to turn up, and started playing card games with people, and the tournament people snuck into a room without me noticing. And I was quite miserable, went home, and there's a church just like two doors up from me. They just happened to be giving away free pudding. And I'm like, hey, Churches, s'mores! Churches I've never do had that. s'mores before! Let's do this! I've never had a s'more before. So yeah, I'm standing around I'm outside not. church, I have some s'mores, and they're like, there's more pudding inside, by the way. Alright, okay. Yeah, I'll take vegan cheesecake. And then, this is the person then, who's currently wearing devil horns, by the way. Just, yeah, wearing devil horns while in church. <laughs> Halfway through a conversation with one of my old physics friends, I realise this, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm wearing horns in church, this is wrong. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but you want to come to evening worship? Right? <laughs> Devil horns? He's like, yeah, yeah, it'd be funny. Like, 
Yeah, hey, so, so you're a Christian, Christian and yeah. you worship here. You're putting on this event and you think it would be funny to me, for me to worship when I'm an atheist in devil horns. Personally, I think that's quite disrespectful. <laughs> Long story short, you're a Christian now. <laughs> Long story short, I'm Satan the Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like my parents never seen this video. <laughs> so yeah, this is going in the outtakes. This is not going to be an actual video. <laughs> Lord knows what I'm doing with the actual video now. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this goddamn mess. <laughs>